This brief video will demonstrate the AutoGrid List program for inserting grid points in your AutoCAD drawings. To use the program, you must first save the relevant files in the current AutoCAD Lisp directory. The path is from your computer, access the C drive, then data, engineering standards, AutoCAD, and then finally Lisp. This is the directory where you must save the files to, to be able to use the AutoGrid Auto Lisp program. Make sure you have saved all 23 files. There is one LSP file, one DCL file, one text file, and 20 AutoCAD drawing files. Once you have done this, you can close Windows Explorer and then open the AutoCAD program. In AutoCAD, go to the Tools tab. and then click on Load Application. Or you may simply go to the command line and type in App Load. Once you have done this, the dialog box will open. Browse to the Lisp directory and select the autogrids.lsp file and then click Load. You will notice that both the load dialog box and AutoCAD command line will show that the autogrids.lisp program has successfully loaded. You can then close the dialog box. Now the AutoCAD command line will show you that the command is grids. Type grids and then hit enter. The autogrids Lisp program options box has now opened with all the default settings. The grid size is the length of the grid and the grid size is default to auto which means that it is set according to the length of the coordinates label or you can select any available grid size. The drawing scale is set to 1 to 1000 however you can select any scale that you want and the grid size will be scaled accordingly. The textile is set to Arial by default. Roman S is also available. Grid spacing is set to Auto Set, which means the spacing is automatically adjusted according to the drawing scale. If you select Manual Entry, the Spacing Entry box will activate, and then you can enter any value that you need. Alternating pattern in labeling is set to yes, which means that every other grid mark will be labeled with the coordinates. If you want all grid marks labeled, simply select no. Thousand separator is set to comma by default. You can pick space or none. If you don't need any separation, select none. Nothing is selected for flipping coordinates. You can select Northern, Easting, or both as required. Grid layer and text layer names are set to V-Anno-Grid and V-Anno-Grid-Text. And both layers are set to the color red. The color can be changed to whichever color you wish. Once you have made all the changes, Simply select OK to accept the changes, or you may click Cancel and proceed with the default options. Now, the command line will prompt you to specify the first corner. You can pick the corner by clicking on the screen, or by entering the coordinates in the command line. When entering the coordinates in the command line, make sure that you follow an X, Y, or east-north order. Once you have done this, pick the opposite corner. The AutoGrid Lisp program will quickly and automatically fill in the grid points for you. All the options specified in the dialog box will be applied. Let's run through that again. 
In the command line, type in grids. Select the options that you wish. For grid size, we'll select 35 meters, and the drawing scale will go with 1 to 500. For text style, let's go with Roman S, and we'll keep the grid spacing at auto set. For alternating pattern, we'll select no. That will add coordinates to every single grid rather than alternating. For a thousand separator, we'll go with space. And flipping coordinates, let's just flip the northern. For grid layer color, we'll select green. For the text layer color, we'll select magenta. Click OK. The command line now requests that you specify the first corner. And now the second corner. As you can see, the AutoGrid list program now populates the drawing with all the grid points and using the options that we have specified. As you can see, the northern has been rotated and the color is magenta for the coordinates and green for the grid lines. When working with a real world example where the drawing is twisted or rotated, it can be difficult to select the limits for the auto grid list program to insert the grid points. It is recommended that you first draw a rectangle that encompasses the entire drawing once you have done this activate the auto grid list program by typing in grids in the command line then click OK once you have selected all of the options at this time Go back to the rectangle that you have drawn and pick any two opposing corners. And the auto grid list program will populate your drawing with the grids. As you can see, the grids are populated with all of the options that you have selected and this done very quickly and automatically. If you have any questions or comments on the AutoGrid list program, email vj at the email address shown on the screen.